Hi, this is Linda Price, and uh, I'm coming to you today to show you a couple of new things that I've come up with. And of course it involves tatting. And um, I just was trying to think of something that's useful that people could use, and if they love the look of tatting, then maybe I could add some tatting to it. So I came up with some greeting cards. And I'm uh, going to be put. Uh, they are on my Etsy right now. I just put them on a few minutes ago, and I have four different kinds. I have one is for friendship. One is for um, thank you for the kind words or your your kind gestures, and I'll just show them to you as I. And then one is for uh, sympathy or just being a friend. Another one is just a thank you card. So um, I came up, I saw these papers on Etsy, I mean, yeah, on a on a Etsy site last week, and I thought they were just beautiful, and I thought they would really look nice as a background for my tatting. So I came up with these cards, and um, I just wanted to show them to you. This first one, this says, Your Kindness... I can't see it. Your kindness makes such a difference. Your kindness makes such a difference. I know that's backwards. You're looking at it backwards. So you can see where I've added the tatting and then some little flowers up here. And um, I have a store here that I put my items in. It's called Ventrist. It's in, it's in Hickson, Tennessee. And uh, I'm going to put them in there. And see how they do and um, I thought I'd just add them to the Etsy and then on the back I just put handmade by Linda Price and I've always loved to do vintage things now it, it is blank in the in the inside so you can uh, write whatever you want to the note what you want to inside and so that's that's the one for somebody's kindness that they did a good a kind deed to, for you or helped you in some way. It's a nice card to send. And that's one. And this one is just a thank you card. And, and I've put, they're all coming in these little sleeves so they're protected. Uh, this is a thank you card. Let's see if I can get that glare off of there. And you can see the tatting. It just says thank you. And, of course, on the back, I just put hand handmade by Linda Price. Another one. Is a, I have different kinds. This is a thank you that I'm going to be putting in this shop where people can just pick and choose what they want. <clears throat> but um, I, I did put some on my Etsy that I will make them exactly like what they look like on Etsy. Unless you request something different. This one is Warmest Wishes for Your Birthday. It doesn't say happy birthday. I like this little phrase, uh, warmest wishes for your birthday. And so this is the birthday card. And let's see. I like this one too. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. This could cover a lot of things. I mean, if somebody, if, if one of your friends lost their... Um, mother or father or their grandparents or a close friend. I mean, you could send them this card and then write your note in the inside and, and um, I'm sure they they would uh, appreciate getting getting a card from you. And these are different. They're not just going into Hallmark and buying a card. You know, I know their cards are um, pretty expensive. Any kind of little embellishment that's put on it, it's expensive. And so um, I'm not asking a lot for these cards. In fact, they're much lower than what you'd pay in uh, in Hallmark or, or any other drugstore or any um, grocery store, a card shop, whatever. So I'm trying to keep the price low. And here's another... Um, a design of I'm here for you which I put a little flowered tatted flower in the middle and this is a new tatting I'm gonna start doing this 
This is this is a snowflake. It's supposed to be a snowflake. It's my first attempt to do it, but I like doing it, so I'm going to try some more. And these would be nice for Christmas, too. And um, this is warmest wishes for your birthday. And another one with my... I gathered some lace around here. I dyed it. I hand dyed it um, with... Um, well, I like to use walnut ink instead of coffee because it doesn't leave any kind of a smell or anything. So I just order walnut ink crystals and I, I uh, mix it up with water, hot water, and put it in a spray bottle and it works just fine. And I just keep it on the counter anytime I need it. And so that's, that's this one. And I did a pink, pink and white variegated flower. If you have a request, I can do those too if you want like a... A lavender flower just let me know and I will do it and uh, this is this is another one I'm here for you and that's a beige an off-white flower that I did off-white flower and um, so I have all these that I've made to put in this shop and because um, you know you just can't have a few so I, put, I made ten so but um, I really enjoyed making these, and I've always loved to make cards, and uh, I just hadn't in a long time. But I thought, why not just use my embellishments to make something different, a one-of-a-kind kind of card that you just can't find anywhere. And um, I'll just put my information down here at my where my Etsy shop is, and uh, you'll be able to, if you're interested, look and see what I have. And... All my other things, I think I've got like 51 different um, uh, posts on Etsy or, or different, 51 different products. I mean, I've been doing this tatting for a while and I just keep adding things and all of a sudden now I've got 51 things, which I, I, I can't believe I have that many, but yeah, I guess it all adds up. So um, anyway, I just wanted to give this short video and show you a few little things of, of my latest, what I've been working on. And um, I'm just, uh, see, these are fun for me. They're not difficult and I can just sit and sit with my husband on the couch and <laughs> just do, do them. I don't have to be secluded in my craft room all by myself. And I mean, I like, I like just sitting with my husband. So it just, uh, and he even said to me, if, if, if I need any help, he can do it. And so I'm trying to think of something he can do. Maybe he could um, put them in the sleeves or something. I don't know. <laughs> He's not real crafty, but he, he, he tries. And I think if I teach him exactly what I need, maybe I can use him. And um, so anyway, I just wanted to let you know what I'm doing and um, that I'll be trying to come up with some other new things. And I've just... I'm working on my Christmas. I've got my uh, Christmas ornaments that I add my tatting to. And I, I found a source for the butterfly that a lot, some of you ordered until I ran out. But I found another source. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing some more butterflies. And uh, now that I have a place that I can put my things locally, I'm going to really be busy. So um, I have a friend who she just said, she has this huge booth, and she said, if you just want to put your things in there, you don't have to pay anything. And just, uh, I'll take I'll take 10%. And I go, whoa, that is a deal. So I decided, oh, yeah, I think I'll try that because I'm not out anything if I put them in there. And if, and if I get some orders on Etsy I, and I have them there, I can just go get, get them off the shelf, and they're already done. So I figured that's going to be helpful for me especially when the, the, the holidays come around. And um, so just thought I'd um, tell you about all that. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I've got another video I can add to my to my, my YouTube, which you don't see much many videos from me at all. Um, unfortunately, I just am not a real video person. And uh, I'm too busy doing other things like tatting and things like that. <laughs> so, all right, I'll talk to you soon, and maybe I'll do another video coming up in a little bit. Thank you.
thanks for all your or your nice comments and um, now I do and I, I'll put down my um, I do have a a uh, you uh, Facebook page is called um, Little Lace Lady by Linda and I'll put that link down there and I've got like 15 years of all what I've done in the tatting and, and so I've got tons of pictures on there if you want to get some ideas for some things if you're if you just learned how to tat and uh, you know I don't do anything fancy in tatting I just use the, the very basic stitches and then just go embellishing from there you know and, and use them in different things and so I, I don't get real um, complicated because the more complicated you get with tatting the longer it takes and I try to find um, things that I can do quickly uh, well they're not really quick but I mean quicker than the complicated things but um, and so I've just kind of stuck with the basic things and so you can too and so you can get ideas like what I've used the tatting on I've I never did um, do journals until about three years ago before then I just covered uh, books uh, like a journal book that was had just pages of, of lines in it where and I, I, I made these removable covers and I bought these books from Walmart to where you could just when you fill up a book then you can get another book and put the cover back on that's what I used to do a lot of until the journals came along and I thought oh I can be even more creative than than just covering them I can do stuff on the inside which that's what I love to do so all right thank you and I didn't mean to just rattle on and on but I appreciate it. Thank you very much.